Now that we've learned that when you multiply or divide in scientific notation, you don't necessarily always end up with a perfect scientific notation answer. You've also learned that when you don't end up with a, with a number that's in scientific notation at the end, that you do have to convert that back to scientific notation. It's very important that when you start out in scientific notation that you end in scientific notation, proper scientific notation with your answer. So now we're going to multiply and divide once again just like we were doing before, but this time your answers won't end up in a nice, neat, scientific notation form. Once you multiply or divide, you will need to then convert it to scientific notation again. So just as a reminder, when you multiply or divide, you have to multiply or divide just the numbers. Then you move on to the tens, Th those are the ones with the exponents, and you use exponent properties. When you get to those. Let's work on example one. Remember, with order of operations, you can simplify the numerator or the denominator, but you need to do them separately first, and then you can divide. So let's figure out what 4.2 times 8.1 is first. That comes out to be 34.02 times 10 working on the tens now, to the four plus negative six. Notice that our bases match, so our exponents are added. We're going to go ahead and divide that by 1.4 times 10 to the fifth. Since nothing is happening to the denominator at this point, I just rewrote it. Now, I can take 34.02 and divide it by 1.4. When I do this, I get 24.3. Now I have to figure out my exponents. I had times 10 to the negative 2 in the numerator. And now, since I have something in the denominator, I have to subtract it. So now, I have 2, 4, 24.3 times 10 to the negative 7. It's not yet in scientific notation. It's almost there, but to get it in true scientific notation, I have to shift my exponent to the left one, or sorry, my decimal to the left one place. And that will cause my exponent to have an, a one added to it. Since I made a big number smaller, I have to add one to the exponent. So my final answer ends up being 2.43 times 10 to the negative 6. Now let's work on this problem. In this one you'll notice that the denominator has multiplication instead of the numerator as example 1 did. So we're going to simplify that denominator first, and then we'll figure out what we need to do with the numerator from there. So I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite the numerator.
and the denominator, I take the numbers first and I multiply them together. 1.5 times 3.2 is 4.8 times 10 to the negative 7, adding exponents. Now I take 2.10, sorry, 2.01 and divide it by 4.8 to get point four one eight seven five times ten to the negative five minus negative seven. You notice that since it's in the denominator, I subtract it from what's in the numerator. At this point, I need to get it in scientific notation where a is between 1 and 10. So I have to shift my decimal place to the right one space. When I do this, I then have to subtract 1 from my final exponent. I now can rewrite the whole number in scientific notation. Adding all my exponent pieces up, I get negative 5 plus 7, which will give me positive 2 minus 1. So my final answer is 1 as my exponent. And it would be fine if you rewrote it like this without putting the to the 10 to the 1 here. I, you wouldn't, wouldn't even have to do that. That's completely acceptable right here.